Well, there's three vectors that determine the outcome of tech in every other sector, frankly. is Number one, is the Fed going to get, be more aggressive? Will be 75 basis points? That's out there. Number two is when is the consumer going to roll over? Hasn't shown signs of doing that yet. And number three, at the end of the day, have we had the capitulation yet? And I say no. You know, having seen this movie before in the past, what I want is a big event, a big 3,000 point down day when a hedge fund blows up or in this cycle maybe a Bitcoin company goes to zero. Somebody's in trouble right now, somebody huge, over levered probably, we don't know who they are. But if you look back at great bottoms, it's always on a day of absolute chaos because somebody goes to zero. I want that. I'd like to sacrifice somebody, not me, of course, but somebody, and I'm not levered, but somebody out there is, and they're going to zero, and that will be our bottom. But we're nowhere near that yet. This slow grind down is painful, and it will continue. So what happened to the Kevin O'Leary, who on May 6th was with me and said, quote, the slowdown's not evident. There's going to be no recession this year. A buyer of Chevron, DuPont, Signa, Moderna, United Health, Home Depot, Apple, J&J, P&G, Pfizer, Alibaba, Tencent, and was looking to add to Facebook. Where'd he go? Where'd Mr. Well, Wonderful turn into Mr. Awful? What happened? <laughs> Wait a second. Two out of three are still true. The consumer is not rolled over yet. I think there's a zero chance of recession, but that doesn't mean PEs can't get compressed. And having seen slow grinds down before, and I'm not the only person that's lived through this multiple times, is I go back to what I just said. We need capitulation. We haven't had it yet. Capitulation is not a thousand point down day. It's something catastrophic that makes everybody believe it's the end of the free world as we know it. And from there, we can build it back. There are great deals out there. There's no question some of these tech companies are trading at absolutely once-in-a-lifetime opportunity prices. But it doesn't mean we're at the bottom. This is something that's very difficult to judge. I'd argue that we're two-thirds of the way there, but another third to go. And we need some event to make it happen. Please, let's flush the toilet, but let's do it soon.